Hello there, kia ora. Around the country from about the 25th of January, there's a few by-elections occurring for local body politicians. And I know, I know, so many people are feeling electioned out. But hopefully, after seeing how much people's rates are going to increase now that the government has gone through and cancelled things like funding for Three Waters, which has been placed back on councils, seeing some councils have an increase of rates of about 30% to deal with the infrastructure that the government was going to deal with, people might start to realise just how important something like their local body council actually is and why they need to get involved with it. But the problem with by-elections is that the turnout is really low. And there are some fascinating people that are running in three of these by-elections, one of whom is even named Danger. No, wait. Danger is his middle name. But I'll get to that shortly. You see, what we do need to deal with is this really low voter turnout that tends to happen in local body by-elections anyway. Last time there was a local body by-election in Hamilton East, for example, there was less than 21% voter turnout for that. And that's likely to be even lower this time because that was in 2021. Since then, they've also had another local body election and a general election and now another by-election. They're electioned out. But their candidates are a little bit weird. Most of them, for some strange reason, are real estate agents, and that's kind of strange. But you also have former Deputy Mayor of the Waikato District Council, Axel Beck, whose real name is Danger. You've got former Hamilton West MP Tim McIndoe running. You've got experts in things like transport, like Jose Gonzalez. You've got early childhood teachers. You've got people who work with immigrant communities and refugee communities. You've got people like Michael West, who once said that libraries should be defunded because that's where poor people go, so that's where crime comes from. And Roger Stratford, who once said, we need to stop Māori from going into Garden Place until they get rid of that attitude of theirs. You also have serial candidate... Uh, Jack Geelan, or Jacobus, as he goes by these names. Those are probably your scariest candidates there, but here's the thing about Hamilton City Council. There's already at least one cooker on board. This is Andrew Bider. Recently, in an interview with Liz Gunn, where he was called the only local body politician in Hamilton who really understood the geopolitical nature of the world inside Liz Gunn's head. But that means he's a bit of a cooker fan. He was one of the group who actually set up that meeting with the Residents of Ratepayers Association that issued execution writs to other councillors. You know, the one that now Hamilton East MP Ryan Hamilton went to and got up and said afterwards, hey, I'm one of you guys. So is Andrew Bidder. And the people who go out and vote for these people are really dedicated voters. When your voting pool is only 21% of total votes, and the number of people who are really dedicated to vote towards a certain candidate is consistent, their vote becomes a lot more powerful, which is one of the reasons why it's so important when it comes to a by-election that while it is boring and really tedious and it's postal votes that makes it even harder, you've got to get out there and have your say. Now, on the bright side, when it comes to the other two by-elections that I came across, the Pukihino Lambton General Ward and the Te Pataka or Rakai Hotu La Banks Peninsula Community Board, are fine. Their candidates are generally okay. There is one serial candidate in amongst them all in the Wellington election. But Hamilton City Council has a really, really mixed history with its candidates. So if you are in there, if you live in Hamilton East, or if you know somebody who lives in Hamilton East, or you don't, and you still just want to make sure that, you know, the crazy people don't get in, encourage them to get out there and have a look at the election website, hamilton.gov.nz. You can do a search for it on there. But please, do some research and make sure you vote in this year's local body by-elections because you don't know how strong their voices are going to need to be against a government who's already stripping funding and making their jobs harder, increasing things like your rates and rent along the way.